What's up everybody, my name is Elliot and welcome to another vlog on the channel. Today we're going to be taking the Hellcat over to CarMax to see what they will offer for it. I know that I've been toying around selling it to Johnny and maybe somebody else, but really the baseline for everything is whatever CarMax will offer. So I figured it's a good opportunity, there's not a whole lot going on, it's kind of a cloudy day. It's kind of the perfect opportunity to see what CarMax will offer for it. But first, I gotta do something about my shoe situation. And no, I'm not talking about car tires, I'm talking about the shoes on my feet because uh, uh, look at these things. They just don't exactly match the image I'm trying to put off, and if I want to get a high appraisal, I want to have a clean appearance, not just the car, but my feet as well. So let's go see if we can do something about these shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my office. Oh, I'm going to have a cat visitation here. All right, I've just received in the mail my new shoes. So. As you guys know, I don't talk about it very much, but I am a Corvette man. And as a Corvette man, you know that I would only buy the finest New Balances. Now, excuse me, dude. Now, these aren't just any New Balances. These are the special ones that are actually made in the USA. Let's take a look at these bad boys. This has my Corvette senses tingling. Oh yeah, look at those bad boys. Those are a lot more fresh than what I've currently got on. All right, oh, pff. man, I was thinking I was gonna have to lace these guys up, but. They already come pre-laced. One final thing before I put these on, while the inserts in the New Balances are nice, they really pale in comparison to the inserts that Dr. Scholl's offers, especially if you have plantar fasciitis like I do. It says it relieves pain all day. This is like wearing Advil on your feet. That's amazing. I wanna give a huge shout out to Dr. Scholl's. They've provided a lot of support <laughs> in my shoe game lately. So let me get these cut down to size, put them in these new shoes, and we're gonna be off to CarMax. Okay, we've got the cat settled into his old New Balance box. We have a new one for you, buddy. You can get a new one. New shoes, on. Now, all we have to do is get the car over to CarMax and see what the boys in blue will give me for it. Wait, the boys in blue is the cops. Uh, the, the boys in blue and yellow, that's CarMax, not Best Buy. Let's see what the boys in blue and yellow offer for the Hellcat. <laughs> We are on our way to CarMax. One thing I want to say is the clutch feel is fantastic with these new New Balances. It's like they're happy to be in an American car, even though this car is manufactured in Canada. It's the spirit of America. There's nothing more American than an American company that's been bought by a foreign company. That's the American way. So many of you may be wondering why I'm even entertaining taking this car to CarMax, other than just for the usual YouTube trope of I'm taking my car to CarMax, yada, yada. Well, the, the truth is, I'm in the middle of making some pretty big changes for the channel and really looking at taking this YouTube thing as more than just a fun hobby. And to do that, I'm gonna have to make some financial changes. And one of the biggest financial changes I can make is unfortunately getting rid of this car in order to fund future projects for the channel. Now, I may or may not have already purchased a new car that may or may not need a lot of money that I could use the sale of this car to help fund and so on and so forth. The reason I'm taking it to CarMax is you just know when you take it to them that no, it's not gonna be the highest valuation in the world, but it is a valuation. And it means that even on the darkest day on the barest mountain, your car is worth that much. You've got it in paper and you've got a guaranteed offer for seven days. And you know, of course, taking it to a private party or to another dealership, you might be able to get a little bit more off out of it. But the CarMax offer usually is so hassle-free and so quick that it's a great way to just get a baseline offer on your vehicle. So that's essentially what we're doing today. Fingers crossed that my new shoes help impact this score. You know, $15 increase just on my appearance alone. That would be very generous. Honestly, that'd be great if it really did affect the valuation of this. New Balance could put that as a bullet point on their Amazon site. They could just be like, these new shoes, good support, helpful for low impact on your knees, increases car resale value when worn at a CarMax. You know, I could be coming up with something here that New Balance just had never thought of before. While we're at it, if you don't already follow me on Facebook, be sure to go like my Facebook page. There is a link in the description below. I post there quite often and I'll be dropping some hints to my maybe, maybe not new car as the time draws closer. So definitely be sure to like me on Facebook if you haven't already. Also on Facebook, there is a fun group called Elliot Alvis Prius Posting, I think. It's something my friends made, but basically it's a group you can join and my friends all roast me and post memes and stuff. It's, it's pretty fun and that's a, a group that anybody can join. So be sure to get on Facebook, like my page and join my 
Prius posting group. It's not all Priuses, I promise you. We're almost to CarMax now, so let's see what they offer. Drop your guesses in the comments below. All right, so we are starting the appraisal process. They are gracious enough to let me film during this, which is surprising. Most people don't get to film during it. Maybe it's just a Corona thing, I don't know. But so far the procedure has just been start the car and pop the hood and pop the trunk. We'll see what else he's doing and hopefully we get a high score. I forgot to take my lint roller out. Remember, you gotta do this because of the cat hair. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure it doesn't clunk. Giving it a thorough look over. I'm not too worried the car has 10,800 miles on it, but you never know. I'm sure that, you know, it's, it's a Fiat Chrysler product. You could find anything. I'm sure the panels don't line up right from the factory, but you know, shh. Okay. And now he's getting pictures, which I, presume is for their database so that they can send it to corporate or whatever, you know, have a record of the offer that they made just so they're not making a crazy offer on a car that's, you know, missing a door or something like that. But still pretty cool process. These, these guys really have it streamlined. And just like that, he's all done. So all we have to do is turn the car off and head inside to get our offer. So let's do that. He said it could take a few more minutes than normal because it's a Hellcat. I imagine it's because they're used to giving out five to $10,000 offers all day. And boy, fingers crossed, they give me more of an offer than that. But anyway, let's head back inside, wait in the lobby and see what kind of offer they give us. All right, just got done with the CarMax appraisal process. I didn't expect to be able to film, so that was pretty interesting. So you guys got to see a little bit of the process. I don't know what it was like before COVID, but now with that they're trying to be contact free and everything, he had me roll down the window. He had me open the door, pop the hood, open the trunk, shut this, open that. Uh, they, they had me do it rather than I think in the past they would have been doing it. The other interesting thing is that they did not ask even to go on a test drive. I kind of figured they would either have me drive the car or have one of their managers come drive the car, but it didn't even come up. They were just checking everything over and they said, all right, go ahead and wait inside and we'll give you your offer. That was unexpected, but you know, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with somebody from CarMax not driving the car, but I have the offer in here. If you haven't guessed yet, now is a great time to leave a comment below and let me know what you think it's worth. I'll tell you this, it was, they've given me a higher valuation than I was expecting, but not more than I think the car is worth. So Without further ado, also while you're in there, be sure to subscribe if you already haven't. Gotta, gotta drop these plugs while I can, guys. Anyway, without further ado, I present to you the CarMax offer that's good for seven days. They have given me an appraisal offer of $47,000. Uh, that is actually right on the money on the Kelly Blue Book NADA value. That's what I've been going into assuming the low end for everything. So the fact that CarMax offered it was, was really good. I, I was definitely expecting uh, them to come out with like 42,000, 41,500, something like that. Now the real question is, was it because of the new balance and the overall cleanly appearance that I have? Or was it just because the car presents well and has low mileage? Uh, who knows? I know that the values have been going up on these cars lately. And I think that this CarMax price certainly reflects that. But regardless, I'm very excited to have this offer, which means this is, like I said, on the low end. This is what they compare to the wholesale market and everything like that, which means probably trading it in or just selling it private party is, is certainly going to be higher than $47,000, which is fantastic, especially when you're trying to get your YouTube career off the ground and you need to buy some equipment and maybe pay for car repairs. I'm gonna head out now and we'll wrap this up on the way. I think this was an important exercise to do as someone who's been dabbling with the idea of selling this car. I know the used market prices have gone up, but it's really nice to get a CarMax offer because like I said before, it means even on the darkest day, on the barest mountain, if you're the last guy on earth, this car is worth $47,000. And that's a guaranteed, guaranteed offer right there folks, now I have a baseline to go off of when I go to sell this car. Now, of course, if you are in the market for a red 2016 Dodge Challenger Hellcat with a six-speed manual and less than 11,000 miles, 
send me an email, but you're gonna have to beat the $47,000 CarMax offer. Now I'm gonna get a lot of sarcastic emails with $47,001. So I guess I just opened myself up for that. Anyway, as YouTube clickbaity and typical as it seems to take your car to CarMax and get an offer, this really was a very simple and easy process. And I can see why so many people do it. If it's this easy in a higher end sort of specialty car, I can imagine taking a Ford Focus in there is just like, you might as well be at the McDonald's drive-thru where they're just like, next, here's your offer, next. I mean, it's such a streamlined process. It, it, I'm blown away by it. There is a reason that CarMax is the giant that they are. But more importantly than almost all of this is the potential sale of this car is a turning point for this channel. I love this car. It is everything I've ever wanted in a vehicle. And I am very strongly considering getting rid of it for the benefit of my YouTube channel. The sale of this car would go to help fund new camera equipment, a new computer, uh, possibly a new project car for the channel. This is just a big step forward for me. And I really would appreciate all the support that I could get on it. Uh, even if you're in the comments saying, no, please don't do it. You know, every, every little bit helps. Anyway, as always, my name is Elliot. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the other normal YouTube stuff. And I will see you on the next video. Now, we're on our way to put the car away, but hopefully this on-ramp is free ahead of me because this car needs to stretch its legs badly. I've been making it idle and put around for the last hour. All right, leg stretching opportunity. Here we go, a little bit. The on-ramp isn't totally clear, so. Oh my goodness, this car is ridiculous. And it is amplified <laughs> by the fact that I drive a Prius so regularly. This thing just feels like a freaking rocket. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, but I gotta, got, I gotta not do that so much. I don't wanna devalue the car now that I'm dabbling with selling it. Anyway, see you next time.